There we go, folks. That is everything you need to travel the world, more or less, give or take, depending on where you're going and various other factors. But I'm in the process of packing for a trip to Southeast Asia. I'm flying to Singapore in two days and then going to Thailand. And so I'm in the process of uh, packing here, narrowing things down. I'm just about done, but uh, going to be making a few fine tuning adjustments here, but wanted to film this while I still got the uh, light shining in there. And so basically this is everything that I will be taking with me here. And I need to stuff it into a backpack. I have four different uh, possibilities here. This is my large size wilderness outdoor camping backpacking backpack and I definitely will not be using that for this trip. I want to take something uh, smaller. The smaller the better when it comes to traveling abroad and having to stuff your backpack into the top of a bus or under your uh, seat or whatever. Now ideally it would be great to be able to stuff everything there into that backpack there. This was just sent to me uh, by the company. It is made by the same company that makes the Icontex camera and it is only 50 liters, which is a great size if you can actually, you know, manage to uh, make it uh, work for you there. Some people can travel with a backpack that size. I don't think it's gonna work for everything that I got here. And so it's going to be one of these two backpacks. We'll see. And so before I get started showing everything here, then I should mention that a lot of these items are available in my Amazon e-store. Check the link down below. Go ahead and click on that and I will get a uh, percentage of any sales. So I'm going to just go through things one by one here and uh, show you what I got. A book that I bought in Morocco a year ago. I just don't get around to reading much and so I'm like, maybe a quarter of the way through that book, but uh, you know, it's good to have a uh, book to read. The Rough Guide to Thailand. So that's where I'm going and going to be uh, traveling with my friend Maria for a couple of weeks and then probably spend a couple of weeks uh, more there. An extra pair of earphones there for my laptop computer, which is in another room, but uh, it's good to have uh, two pair for something like that that is uh, quite important. If one breaks or you lose uh, a pair, then you can be kind of screwed if you're in some remote place where you can't uh, buy them. And same goes for your power plug, especially when you're a YouTuber and really depending on your computer. So this is actually a second uh, power plug for my laptop. Here I have keys that go to a small lock and a little bit uh, larger lock for locking a locker in a hostel and various other things. A whistle, just in case. Now, an important consideration is, of course, where are you going? What is the climate going to be like? What are the temperatures and the weather going to be like? And so for this trip that I'm going to Southeast Asia, it's going to be hot. I'm mostly going to be wearing, you know, tank tops, maybe t-shirts, shorts, but I might also end up going to somewhere uh, colder, maybe uh, the north of India or the Himalayas in Nepal or something. And so I decided to just throw in a few uh, warm uh, things that are small just in case I go to those uh, places. So here I have a pair of gloves, a hat, and a neck warmer kind of a thing. And then those all roll up really small and can just go in the bottom of that bag and I won't hardly notice them. Now here I have my breakfast mixture that I've mentioned in various other videos. This is a mix of granola, oats, some added raisins, uh, coconut, and a few other things. Also some carob chips that uh, can go on top of that. And then some organic sugar there that goes on top. And then you just pour water over it. And so I have this cup and a spoon. And that is one of the really brilliant things about this uh, breakfast mix is that uh, you don't need milk, you don't need hot water, you can just pour cold water on it and you're good to go. And so uh, you can just like wake up in the morning and decide, I don't wanna go out and find uh, breakfast somewhere this morning. I just wanna um, have breakfast, get out of the room and then get on my adventure or whatever. And then you have that uh, handy. This is a collapsible walking stick that I just got. Here is a assortment of little things that goes in this bag and then goes in my day pack. And so that is always uh, with me while I'm walking around a town or wherever. And so these are useful things that might come in handy in various random, who knows uh, what sorts of situations. Thread, needles, scissors, a backup memory stick for my uh, files on my computer, lighter, a Leatherman tool with a knife and various other things on it, fingernail clippers, Extra keys for those two locks there. Odomos, mosquito repellent. This is from India, so a little bug repellent there. Emergency toilet paper. A second set of earplugs, especially if I'm stuck on a bus that's really noisy or something like that. And a headlamp. 
This is a money belt with passport and extra credit card and cash. Honestly, I don't end up wearing that uh, very often. I just find it to be uncomfortable, um, but certain uh, situations and otherwise it's just there and then I will uh, stuff it in my um, day pack there. Some various charging cables and whatnot for the computer and the uh, batteries for my cameras. Rain jacket, super, super important. This also just goes in the day pack and it is always there just in case it starts raining. You never know when the weather might change while you're out hiking or whatever. My phone, tank tops, a socket adapter. This is very, very important. When you're traveling abroad, you will need something that you can plug your uh, various devices into. And then that is a plug that will go into European and Asian sockets, electrical sockets. And there are the universal uh, socket adapters, and I have one of those. But I find that this is the main one that you will end up needing because it is the one used in Europe and Asia. So I'm just bringing this one because it's a little bit smaller and easier to use than the uh, larger universal adapter. Here I've got some aloe vera gel for sunburns. I'm going to uh, get some sun in Thailand, that's for sure. My notebook, an eye shade for sleeping, one pair of socks because it's going to be hot. I'm not really going to need uh, socks. I'm not even bringing any shoes at all. I will show my sandals in a second. But uh, for the plane ride there and for arriving in San Francisco uh, tomorrow, I'll be spending a night at a hostel there. And then it's just a good idea to have at least one pair of socks uh, handy. You never know when it might be a little bit chillier than you expected or something. A sun hat, definitely a essential one. Shorts, one pair of hiking shorts, one pair of swimming trunks, t-shirts, earplugs, and a beard trimmer. I highly recommend this one. It is in my Amazon e-store. It is very small and you charge it up. So here's the charging cable. You charge it up and then it is ready to go. And that way it doesn't matter if there is a uh, electrical outlet right next to the mirror in the bathroom, wherever you're staying, it is already charged up and ready to go. And Rosie the cat is saying hi. Hey, Rosie. And then here I have uh, printouts of the hostel that I'm staying at in San Francisco, my flight to Singapore, my hotel in Singapore, my flight from Singapore to Krabi, Thailand, my hotel in Krabi, Thailand, and my hotel in Koh Lanta. So I'm all prepared there. A pair of comfy uh, pants for wearing in the evening. I haven't decided quite yet if I'm going to bring those. A blanket, that is definitely a essential. A pair of pants, and I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to be bringing one pair of pants or both of these. And then here's my camera bag for both of my cameras and the various accessories and things. Swim goggles, a towel, and a bag for dirty laundry. A bicycle cable lock for locking your backpack to a bunk bed in a hostel, or maybe under your bunk on a train in India. And my day pack here is also in my Amazon e-store. Here I've got my wallet and a change pouch, a travel alarm clock, that's in my Amazon e-store as well, uh, earplugs again, pen, water bottle, sunglasses, and a sunglass case. And then here's the footwear that I'm bringing on this trip. Two pairs of sandals, one pair of sturdy sport sandals, and one pair of uh, slip-on sandals that I bought in Morocco. So that pretty much covers everything. And now I'm going to pack them into one of these backpacks here and then show you what it looks like all packed up. All right, so all packed up here. That is my large backpack. And then I also have my day pack. And so I carry that on the uh, back, of course, and then that just kind of on the front or hanging over a um, shoulder or whatever. The sport sandals that I will wear onto the plane and then my other slip-on sandals in there. And so there we go, I'm all ready to rock and roll. Check the link down below this video to visit my Amazon e-store where you will see lots of these things that I mentioned in this video that are available and you can order them on Amazon like uh, any uh, normal product that you would order on Amazon there. Also check down below for a list of all of the items that I mentioned here in case you didn't all catch it in the video. Take it easy and see you in Asia.